Today's video is going to be about how to make a DIY fresh water flush system for your marine engine. I was trying to buy something uh, that will fit to my Perco strainer. There's absolutely nothing out there. Either I need to buy a new strainer, <clears throat> which has a cap, um, flushing cup, but uh, Perco doesn't even make it in two inch diameter. So I have two Cummins engines, and the last thing I need is uh, salt water sitting in them. So after a bunch of digging around the internet, um, Here's what I came up with. This is a cap with a welded valve. And then there's a quick attachment right here for hose. So I can <clears throat> have my garden hose at the, uh, at the dock. Let's say you have different attachments for washing the boat or whatever. And then I can just plug in this hose to the... Uh, water strainer, open the valve, and that's it, and be done with it, and flush the engine. So the parts you need for this is, just find a spare cap for your strainer, I found this online uh, from a perco, it was like 60 bucks, then you buy a nipple like this, um, 3 quarter inch. Uh, it will have threads, NPT threads on both sides. Um, so make sure it's bronze, um, not brass. Otherwise, you know, your boat will definitely sink um, because it contains zinc, which will be um, um, removed by electrolysis. So three quarter inch nipple, you make a hole in the cap, find the uh, metal shop around you. I picked that. Uh, it, it cost me something like 50 bucks to uh, weld this both caps and then the valve um, I'll put the valve in the description but basically it's Groco IBV 750 there's the uh, model why you want this valve I bought another valve right here from Nitco and it has already a cap for um, for a hose. I thought that would be a great idea. This thing is so heavy. If it will be hanging on top, then the, the, the torque, I'm afraid that the torque on, on this cap, on the strainer, is going to be too much. So this is very heavy. I don't know why do you need this thick valve this thick. So I found this valve, which is super light. Um, also bronze valve. So, NPT on both sides, it's a female NPT, NPT thread here, NPT thread here, nipple was NPT, and then, <clears throat> so basically you assemble it this way, and then here you buy an adapter, on this side you have um, male NPT, on this thing you have, on the inside you have female GHT, it's a garden hose thread. There are different threads, so then you buy on Amazon. This thing is Gorilla Easy Connect, and it has a garden hose thread right here. So, if you decide not to buy this adapter and you'll try to put garden hose thread into NPT thread, it will just not work at all. I mean, you can kind of catch the first thread, it's not going any, any further, so it's not gonna work. <clears throat> you want guard, uh, NPT to garden hose adapter. You bolt it all together, put the tape in the middle, you're all done. So I can flush my engines every time I go out. Um, even leaving the, the boat for several days, I don't have to replace things and worry about my risers and pretty much all my engines sitting with the salt water. Hope this helpful because I spent months trying to figure out which parts I need to buy and how to create the fresh water uh, flush system. <laughs> and that was my previous attempt. I wanted to uh, inject this thing into the uh, two inch pipe input, kind of this thing here. But I said, eh, what the hell? Let's just go with a simpler approach. 
in this one. So, um, like this video if uh, you found it useful. Um, peace.